What's good, y'all? What's good? Speak Your Cloud Podcast live every Saturday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's your boy Mike Sears, and I'm here with my brother, by the way, is in Northern Ireland. The homie Vod cracks in the building, y'all. Yo, what's up, everyone? Uh, yeah, hope y'all doing good. We landed in San Diego. Uh, one of the most underrated MCs of all time we're talking about today. That boy J.O. Felony with his 1998 sophomore album, What You're Gonna Do. Turns 25 years old this year. And man, going back and listening to this vibe, I'm like, yo, this shit is dumb underrated. And this, it's hard to me to choose, <laughs> take a ride of this one. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, uh, definitely. Excellent album. Uh, Jail Felony, I got into early. My uncle played Sherm Stick so much back in the day, you know, all the time. And uh, he had to let, uh, take a ride cassette, play the fuck out of that. Um, what you're gonna do came out '98. That channel I always talk about, which I know backstage, me and uh, Vod and Uncle were talking. I said, uh, it was called All Access. I think that was a DVD, like a street company back then. So I don't know what the fuck this channel was called, but that's why I first seen what you're gonna do on that channel. It was mm-hmm. uh, like BET, but not as consistent. It, sh- it showed a lot of the same shit, like a playlist. But uh, there's this Puerto Rican girl that was interviewing Jail Felony. He was playing pool and he was talking about what you're going to do, dropping. And I seen that and I was like, that shit's crazy. You know, the DMX and uh, Method Man version, the OG version, original one. And um, yeah, man, love that. So I didn't get the CDs later on in life, you know. And I had the cassette, though, to what you're going to do. But like the actual CDs, I didn't get to later on. But I think Jail was like severely underrated. Dude is dead nice. Uh, real lyrical too. A lot of niggas don't talk about that. But yeah, what you're gonna do? 1998 turns 25 years old this year, so we're gonna break that down. How about you, Bob? And you get introduced to Jail. Yeah, so he completely slipped by for me, and I think you know not just for me, but for loads of people. He wasn't really like obviously he must have been like fairly like somewhat known back then, like in the US, but like worldwide, not really. I don't think he really broke out internationally and uh yeah so i first heard him when Shermstick got out into gta 5 <laughs> that was the first time i heard him really? and uh yeah no for me this was actually the first full length that i actually heard what you're gonna do and then i heard take a ride um you know for me it's it's a t- close call between the two albums for sure uh, i'll i'll think i'll reveal which one i prefer at the end of the show but uh yeah i mean very underrated like he said and like i always feel like def jams west coast artists just none of them really worked out apart from warren g he's like the exception to the rule but all, all the other ones like bg knockout and the and like um so i've central cartel like all of those kind of went you know under the radar and joe felony like he said very lyrical i love him. he's like a punchline rapper and i love that you know that, that's kind of rare on the west coast you know the other sort of big example the uh, obvious example would be Razkaz, but uh, yeah, Jo has got those punches. You know, I love. He's got so many quotable bars, and uh, oh my god, yeah. <laughs> he has he, quotables he, in here that made me go fucking crazy. I'm sorry, Bob. Yeah, no, he does. He does absolutely, and I love his aggressive nature as well. Like he's got a dope voice and a dope flow. And uh, the thing that I love, love about what you're gonna do is that it feels like bigger budget compared to the first album. You know, it's yeah. like working with lots of uh notable features on here you got ea ski and cmt doing a lot of the beats on here it just feels bigger and grander compared to take a ride uh which felt more underground in my opinion but uh yeah great stuff i got a shout out more fucking cold chilling my nigga absolutely um, all fucking day speaking club for life bitch shout out doobie shout my nigga hood tmz um we in the building yeah, man. Bullet, Bullet Loco himself, bro. Jail. Um, can't wait to get into this. Discovered by Jam Master J as well. Shout out to J- JMJ. RIP to JMJ all fucking day. Absolutely. Jail Felony, what you gonna do? Get the intro. Sounds like Jail Felony's escaping from prison in the beginning. Then Jail starts rapping. You know. <laughs> Fuck school, nigga. Bang with me. Fuck a job, nigga. Bang with me. Fuck college, nigga. Bang with me. I love that shit. Simple but dope. Dope intro. I fucks with it. I think that's cocaine talking. Might not be. Yeah, it is. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, he's not credited, but it sounded like him. So, yeah, it is him. So, yeah, that's the intro. I think it's pretty dope. 
Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a dope intro, uh, produced by DJ Silk, who does a lot of uh, the beats on the album. Uh, yeah, really like the production on here as well. I just love, like, very distinctive synths that DJ Silk uses. You can tell his beats right away because of just his kind of distinct sound. And, uh, yeah, it's like it's really effective as an intro. Uh, really showcases, you know, kind of what the album's going to be like, you know, in sort of like a short kind of two-minute burst. And uh, I kind of get the... It's it's not a concept album, but I kind of get the vibe that like what he's talking about is like trying to get out of the system. You know what I mean? Like prison yeah. is like one aspect of it, but I think he's talking about just like the system in general. You know, just like being held down and being oppressed, and that's sort of like a an occurring theme that runs throughout the album for sure. And uh, yeah, it's a it's a really cool intro, really good way to start off the album. It's labeled as a skit, but it's like more than a skit. You know, it's definitely. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's better than that. It's pretty dope. It's just get in parentheses. Yeah, which is a bit uh, odd, I think. Yeah, that's why I just said intro. But uh, yeah, man, you mentioned DJs. So him and uh, mostly him and um, EA Ski CMT handle the bulk of the production. But man, nobody on dry land is up next. Dope beat by Tony T Funk. I think it's Para. I can't say the nigga last name. I say Tony T Funk. Um, Jay was flexing his skills on here, talking about how nobody on dry land can fuck with him. Uh, love it. Robin Banks in Hollywood, full body yama. Bitch on Big Bullet Loco, a.k.a. the Unabomber. Lyrically, Jay was dumb underrated, like Vod said. Like, the nigga just, the punchlines is fucking fire, man. I love that New Jersey Drive line as well. You know, there's a scene in New Jersey Drive where Jason and his bitch is in the whip. And, you know, New Jersey Drive is about this jacking car. That's what the movie's about. And they, they roll up on the whip and they're like, get off the car. And one of the dudes said, I should have blasted your stupid ass. And then J.O. kind of references that so fucking hard. Yeah. The body on dry land. Banging. Love it. Great track. Yeah, definitely. Another, um, yeah, this is a really kind of good follow up after the, the intro. Um, yeah. Again, just does a great job of showcasing Joe Felony's skills. Just, yeah, he, he, bodies that and uh yeah the beat is pretty good too kind of has um there's a smoothness to it but at the same time there's like a an eeriness to it at the same time too and uh yeah i think it's a it's a dope track it's not like an ultimate favorite but man it's still you know dope way to kick off the album proper so to speak yeah i like it a lot yeah proper song first one now we get how angry he goes to memphis tennessee Includes 8-Ball and MJG. We got T-Mix on there, you know. Fucking Swab House shit right there. 8-Ball sounds so dope on the chorus, man. Fire. MJG's verse is dope. Talks about record labels censoring rappers and shit. And just talks about... Just talk that talk. And 8-Ball flows over the track greatly. j did his thing as well. Dope-ass track. Dope-ass collaboration. You know, around this time, MJG had a solo album that No More Glory. And then a year later, which is this year, 98... Abel came up with that Lost. I love that Lost album. So fucking good. So yeah, that track is fire. Love it. Yeah, definitely a dope track. Uh, yeah, really nice to have uh, T-Mix on production as well. Uh, yeah, it does feel like a proper kind of suave house song. It just so happens to have Joe Felony on it, if that yeah. makes sense. It's always interesting how that works out with... Um, Sometimes with featured artists, you get like the the art the featured artists like main producer along with them. You know what I mean? It's always interesting how that that works out. It's, uh, but yeah, high angry again. You know, dope song, uh, dope collab between Ipo and MJG. Like you said, Ipo the sounds great on that hook. You know, really dope. And uh, yeah, I mean, again, love the kind of denim <laughs> from Joe Felony. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just spitting rawness on this track, and the beat's really interesting too. It's kind of got like a kind of like a guitar riff in the background. It sounds like a guitar uh, in the background, and uh, the bass is kind of like hard hitting and kind of heavy. Uh, yeah, dope stuff for sure. And uh, yeah, I mean, Ip on MJG, like they were kind of spreading out a bit around that time. They were also featured on uh, MC MC Ren's Ruthless for Life album around that time. Oh yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah, just a really cool. Um, Dope collaboration for sure. Uh, yeah, it was on like Mace Holland World too. Them, them, them boys got around like just collaborating, collaborating with everybody. Yeah, yeah, they were on the Southwest Riders compilation in '97 and stuff. Yeah, oh, they yeah. they were getting out there for sure. Shout the ball and G, big fan, big fan. Let me get what you're gonna do. 
fucking flaming single featuring Method Man and DMX. Man, DJ Silk absolutely slaughtered this beat. J.O. killed the joint. When I'm in Texas, I'm bumping screw music with Big Mike and Scarface. We loop loop. I love that. <laughs> he said, me and little crook like Bob and Luke Duke. Yeah, that Duke's a hazard shit right there. I love mm-hmm. that. He gives a shout out to the East Coast. Mentions rocking Timberlands, going to the tunnel, having Funk Master Flex page shit. And of course, that, that classic. I'm too sexy for my motherfucking hood. I'm too sexy for my motherfucking low rider. Fucking love that. Method Man. Man, slid on this shit. This is like Judgment Day era Method Man. Meth does this thing on here. The DMX. I love that. I got more homes than an essay line. That shit hard, bro. This is the definition of a straight banger. It bangs just as hard as it did in 98, 25 years later. I absolutely love this song. It's so fucking good. This video was like ingrained into my memory because, like I said on that channel, they played it a lot. I absolutely love this song. Incredible. What you're going to do, banging. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's probably my favorite song on the album. I just, <laughs> oh, <laughs> what you gonna do is so yeah. good. It, it's yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. It's up there anyway. Uh, there's a few other kind of close contenders, but uh, yeah, what you gonna do is just absolutely fantastic. That beat from Do Silk is crazy good, crazy catchy, catchy. Uh, the beat on that is just yeah, banging. Love the bass on that. I, I actually used to think that was an EA ski beat, but it was like, no, that's actually DJ Silk. That's dope as hell. Yeah, love that. And uh, you got Method Man and DMX on here. Uh, originally, I'm trying to find where I've heard this from, but I've definitely heard it somewhere that it was originally supposed to be Method Man and ODB. And uh, for oh. whatever reason, yeah, does that ring a bell? I know that. Uh, I'll quickly tell you what happened with that one. ODB. Uh, okay. And I just watched the interview, it's on YouTube. Um, JL was like, this is like fucking full cracked out dirty you know what i'm saying yeah he wanted 200k for it for the Fuck verse off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's a dirty water in jail's like nope that's what hell I'm no saying. yeah because yeah, there's an interesting edit but you can tell at the end of method man's verse he says you know we're going in with nothing but a clan logo mr meth and then at that point jail found me there's like an edit where he goes dmx and bullet loco motherfuckers but i imagine uh method man maybe said at the end of his verse you know mr meth you know dirty and bullet loco or something because yeah. it sounds like a that was dirt, edited in yeah dirt dog or something like that yeah, yeah. something yeah. like that yeah. yeah i can definitely uh something's been changed there you can tell yeah. <laughs> but uh i think this is the best possible outcome i think dmx's verse is awesome at the end really really good um, you know, <laughs> you know, I shake that bullshit off. Arf, arf, you know, I'm awesome. I love, uh, you know, you know, of course, like DMX in '98 was like the guy, you know what I mean? So Jerry Felony's probably like, you know, this is like a win win, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I think, you know, it worked out perfectly, but you got DMX and Method Man on there, and it's like a kind of like a Def Jam kind of posse cut as well. Obviously, they're all on the same level, too. So, yeah, I think it worked out for the best with, uh, Method Man and DMX, yeah, they, they both do awesome guest verses, and uh, you know, Joe's uh, verse at the, at the start is awesome too, so yeah, I mean, everything about the song is just so instantly catchy and good, you know, I love the chorus, you know, I can give it to you, so what's you gonna do with it, you know, just awesome stuff, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's a headbanger, that's a, that's, you know, play that at a party, at a club, whatever, I mean, I oh, think yeah. that song is fantastic. That party music, man. even the ad-libs, uh huh, uh huh, uh All that shit. Man. <laughs> yeah, and it's hard to sell that song too. You know, I, s- I split them open like Thomas's. Sell more drugs than a pharmacist. You know that DMX. Uh, uh, was going in. <laughs> yeah, he was. He's like, you talking trash, but you weigh a buck and fucking change something like that. He sells like, ooh. <laughs> yes, that's right. Yeah. So hard. All right, now we get easy to get in. DJ Silk did some dope production on here. Jail talks about how it's easy to go to jail, but hard to get out. It's true. Talks about being in and out since he was young, you know, back in them juvie days and shit. Also talks about how dudes come to the pen hard, but they end up being someone's bitch and washing niggas' drawers and what have you, you know. Message is basically, jail isn't cool at all. That's what I got from it, you know what I'm saying? Dope cut, personal talk, warning these niggas that shit ain't cool. To this day, it's like that, you know. 
Real talk. Love this song. Yeah, I love this song too. It's never one of my highlights on the album. Again, DJ Silk's production here is wonderful. Just really cool. Really distinctive. Just sounds different, you know, compared to all the other kind of G-Funk stuff that was out at the time. Just, yeah, completely different. And, um, yeah, I mean, it, what you were saying there is com- completely spot on. And um, I think that fits in with the overall kind of theme of the album too, talking about the system and, like, how it's designed to keep you in. You know what I mean? That's kind of it fits in perfectly with that kind of um, motif that's kind of spread throughout the album. But uh, yeah, really good song, you know, J.O. is spitting some some real stuff. And uh, yeah, again, phenomenal production from DJ Silk. Yeah, one of my favorites on the album. Hell yeah, brother. That's that shit. And next we get the What You Gonna Do remix featuring Redman, Dub C, and Mag 10. Really dope remix, but I think it appears fossil early in the track list. That's just my opinion. It'd be dope like the last song or something. That's my personal opinion. It's too close. But uh, it's literally almost right after the original. That's why, you know. All the MCs bodied it, though, for sure. I think uh, I think Cube should have been on this. He appears later. But I think Cube, you had a whole West Side connection. That should have been fucking flames. But uh, dope track. I prefer the original, but it's definitely fire. Yeah, I definitely prefer the original too. This is no like knock on the remix because it's still pretty good. You know, the yeah. the the, the uh, beat from DJ Silk gets similar. It's not quite the same, but it's similar. Yeah. You know what I mean? Same same kind of idea. Uh, you know, it's got the same basic kind of chorus and Jo's verse at the start. It's like the same, but with different words. Does that make sense? It's like. He, he says the, basically the same things, but he moves moves the words about and makes different um, references. It's not so much about the East Coast anymore and stuff. You know, he kind of mixes it up. But um, yeah, I think the guest verses are pretty good. Redman, you know, I love Redman. He sounds really dope and he opens up that verse really dope. But he has one whack line, in, in my opinion, where he says, um, I'm so cool, I'd be shopping in the frozen aisle. That's not... That's not a great line from Red Man. You know, Red Man's one of the goats, but that's kind of a weak bar in my opinion. But <laughs> um, yeah, no, he still sounded great over that beat. Don't get me wrong. And it's, yeah, pretty good. And then, uh, you know, Mac 10, he comes in, you know, pretty hard as, you know, just usual kind of like typical Mac 10 stuff. Like he's he always kicking, keeping a gangster and, uh, you know, talking about selling chickens and all that. You know, you know what you're going to get from Mac 10, you know, oh, pretty yeah. dope. And then Dub C comes in with his crazy kind of uh, flow, which is always so entertaining. You know, Dub C is one of those guys who I've always liked, you know what I mean? doesn't matter <laughs> what he's on. He's always incredibly uh, entertaining in my opinion. But yeah, I agree with you. It would have been dope if it was like a full, uh, Westside Connection collab, that would have been dope. And I also agree that the placement of this on the album is a little bit strange. Definitely should have been on there a lot later. But I'm glad that it's on the album at all. But yeah, I agree, definitely agree it should be on on towards the end. It's far too close to the original. Yeah, way too close. All right. So sorry about that, Ross. I was uh, answering somebody. But, oh, no worries. Uh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> but what about tonight's show? What is Tony going to be there? Okay. Next, uh, Vod broke that down crazy. Love that. Let me get uh, Nitty Gritty. Real dope beat by CMT and EA Ski. Use that classic five minute of funk Houdini sample. I'm not a big Houdini fan. But that's that's pretty that's pretty much a dope song. Um, Not sample snitching. It's, fucking, it's everywhere, that fucking shit. Everyone knows about it. I love Jail's energy on this track, too. You could definitely play this at like a barbecue or something like summertime shit dope ass track i fuck with that nitty gritty heavy yeah i love this song one of, another again one of my other favorites on the album yeah uh it's pretty much like a cover of five minutes of funk pretty much because um, yeah, it's got yeah. pretty much the same like chorus and everything you know Instead of five minutes of funky changes at the four minutes, you know, get off your rump, move your bottom off the tree stump. Ladies looking pretty from city to city. And now we're getting down to the nitty gritty. It's pretty much the same as the original. You know, he yeah. just changes it up a little bit. So he says, you know, come on, Bullet Loco, getting funky while we got him, you know. But um, yeah, I love the song. Again, phenomenal production from EA Ski and CMT. Just so smooth, you know what I mean? And uh, this is one of those examples where it's like, it's technically a cover, but I like this cover more than the original. I like the Houdini song. I think it's dope. They have like a couple of songs that I like, and that this yeah. is one of them. And uh, yeah, but I think J.O.'s version's awesome. I love it. It's one of my favorite tracks in the album. This was like the second single, I think, as well. I remember seeing the video for it a while oh, back. Oh, shit. That's dope. Yeah. Never knew it was a video. 
yeah yeah there, it's like him he's like chilling in the car and stuff like that it's nothing like too amazing but yeah praise up for this got a video for sure oh yeah now one of my favorites on the motherfucking record this shit hard as fuck i'm deadly air ski and cmt on the boards on this one lyrically J O annihilates this you know i love the line and i swear i just saw the fucking ghost of jeffrey dama Asking my mama why these niggas keep biting me like piranha. I want to take the gauge and go blah like I'm Nirvana. <laughs> Shit, fucker. Oh. The only thing that calms me down is marijuana. Yeah. Yeah, he bodied that. I love the, for the Fred Sanford and Esther line too. Oh, he said, Your mama came to identify the body when I battled you. Why they biting me, oh. mama? Why they biting me, mama? Love it. Because, son, you the shit. <laughs> Jay was really going for it lyrically on this one. Crazy, my guy. Yeah, definitely. I mean, this is up there as one of my favorites as well. I mean, the beat alone is phenomenal. That intro, you know, you got the bass going, doom, 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 doom. You got those amazing, like, G Funk simps over the top of it, like, just classic EA Ski CMT production right there. Amazing. And uh, yeah, like, Jero is in full, like, battle bar mode on this song, just killing it. I love where he says, um, this is the song where he's like, you know, I'll give you a speech impediment like cable guy. You know what I mean? And uh, he also says, you know, my lyrics are valuable like fucking elephant tusk. <laughs> Love <laughs> that. He's so he's so dope, so underrated. You know, no one talks about him ever. It's such a shame. Yeah, you know, so good. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm deadly as fire. Uh, definitely, it's up between that and what you're gonna do. Put it that way. Love it. It's one of my favorites. So fucking good. On the way to 47 block skit, a continuation from the intro. Cops are still trying to capture jail. You know, his homies pick him up and shit. Now we didn't much to talk about right there. Yeah, I've got really nothing to say about that. All right. Next we get getting loop loop. You know, that's loop loop, I'm guessing, is smoking that fucking sherm, bro. You know, some dude, I think I'm guessing a little crook. He's not even fucking credited. I ain't take up my CD, so I don't know if he's credited or not in the booklet or not, but. He spits a verse, and JL tells him to take a hit of that gorilla piss, which is uh, PCP. He just kicks a little freestyle. Yeah, I like the beat for this a lot. I think they kind of wasted it, actually, uh, because it's only a minute long, and I think they could have made like a full like three-minute, four-minute song out of it. It's pretty good. But, um, yeah, not much else to say about it apart from that. But, uh, yeah, I think there, there was potential to make that into like a full-fledged song. Yeah. Then we get Lovely. Oh, my. One of my ultimate favorite songs on here. Smooth Beat by Tony T. Funk. Uh, Little Crook is on this track. This is a, a love song to that wet wet. That gorilla piss. You know, that fucking Sherm. Uh, this is basically Sherm Stick Part 2. Absolutely good daughter song. That in my boxes and my and Chuck Taylor. Taylor. I fucking <laughs> love it, dog. Because when you smoke that shit, it makes you hallucinate and you may strip Look at Smokey, you know, when them fucking essays gave him that PC thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. Excellent fucking track. I love this song so much, man. You know, uh, Little Crook's like, she had me ordering a Big Mac from Burger King and shit. He's like, <laughs> my homie butt naked doing the Bankhead bounce and shit. You know, I fucking love this. Just nigga on that angel dust just dancing with his boxes and Chuck Taylor's. Amazing fucking song, bro. Love this yeah definitely yeah great song and like on the surface of it too like if you weren't really paying attention you would think it was like a standard kind of love song but nah you know what i mean yeah. if you, you think deeper you realize oh no it's actually about that yeah, yeah what, what? Uh, definitely like <laughs> the the production as well is just super smooth on here really nice you know um definitely kind of mixes things up because most of the beats in this are just bangers you know banger after banger this yeah. is sort of you know does a good job of kind of mixing things up a bit. Yeah, definitely like another really dope song in the album. No pun intended. I love it. I love it so much. Yeah, <laughs> so it's good. really good. That that like hook as well in my box. Yeah. It's so like memorable. You know, once you hear that, it's yeah. like yeah. In my Chuck Taylor, I posted it on on Twitter, and some nigga was said that in the in the comments. I was like, yeah, real niggas know. You know. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Then we get Bumpin' Bullet Loco. Dope beat by J.O. Felony himself. I love what he said. You know that feeling you get? 
when your leg falls asleep, imagine that over your whole entire body, nigga, peep. Oh, oh God, yeah, I that. love that. Then he said, then I scream out, Bailey's, I learned that back in juvie. Enough niggas in that bitch to make a Tarzan movie. Now, that fucking line is from the classic 1970s sitcom, Sanford and Son. R.I.P. Red Fox. Red Fox, his son Lamont got a speed ticket, right? Mm-hmm. And they're in the courtroom, and he tells the white the white cop he's like why don't you arrest some white drivers he's like i do he's like you do we gotta get we, <laughs> we got enough niggas in here to make a tarzan movie so when he referenced that shit i went nuts i know it's a four-year time vod it's oh before, yeah it's a four my time too but i've seen so many reruns as a kid and i'm in a black family so that you know i i got taught about that but i absolutely love that shit man that was a dope ass way to put that like you got to be a fan of a uh, Sanderson to get that. I love it. This is definitely a standout on the album. Production is banging. Lyrically, J.O. was super dope. Love it. Basically saying, niggas bumping this shit everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Love this shit. Love that yeah. bitch on the chorus, too. Fire, man. Yeah, this is another highlight for me. I love this song. Like, just, to, again, just hearing him say, you know, in L.A., they bumping J.O. family. Ah, ah. You know, I love yeah. that. So, so um... And the production is really good as well. Like he gets, you know, credit for it, you know, like really good job on the production. It sounds great. Kind of has that kind of like eerie kind of dark, you know, nighttime kind of feel. But uh, yeah, just really, really cool. And uh, yeah, that line that you mentioned, you know, <laughs> but, you know, imagine that all over your entire body. It's so cold. So dumb. I know. Uh, crazy good. Yeah. I mean, I love his nickname too. Bullet Loco. That's dope. <laughs> that's, that's a really fire. cool name yeah. yeah yeah definitely yeah just another like highlight on the album and knowing this song as well it kind of gives um sort of like subliminal shout outs and to uh you know some of our west coast cats you know he says you know be smooth like richie rich and you know says he sips you know hurricane of e40 because that's his homie and stuff like that so um yeah bumper Boloco is far really good it's so hard love that shit bro then we get Love Don't Love featuring Cocaine. DJ So blesses Jay with the dope production on this one. Jay talks about how niggas who was down turn into snitches. Cocaine killed the chorus like he always does. I love how Jay talks about getting revenge on the snitch. So fucking hard. Great track. I fucks with it. Yeah, definitely. Another dope song. Pretty funky production wise. Uh, another really good. Um you know dj silk production on here nice to have cocaine on like an actual track as well we've heard him twice before this he was, he was on the intro and he does like back on vocals on the um on the way the 47 block skip but sort of nice to have him on like a on a proper song uh my favorite line of this song is a really dope punch line by jayo family i love where he says you know doing so much dirt i've got grass on my knuckles <laughs> I love that. That's so hard. Yeah, crazy guys. Um, yeah, another just really kind of dope track on the album. Again, f- fantastic production from DJ So Really good. Fuck yeah. Then we get finished shit on him, featuring Mac 10. ESK and CMT provide the beat on this one. Jail Felony on that raw shit. Mac 10 second feature on the album. Crip and Blood collabo type shit, you know what I'm saying? Which is dope. I like when uh Mac Ten we smoking them sticks like like you did on your first shit, nigga. Hard, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love that reference, raw ass shit. Fantastic cut. Love that song. Yeah, dope song. Very like West Coast sound, and it reminds me of you know the intro on NWA second album, like the prelude at the start. That dun, 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 dun. Dun. yeah, yeah it kind of reminds me of that. The beat, you know, kind of has like yeah. a similar kind of vibe, kind of hard, like just yeah, gully kind of West Coast stuff. Um. Yeah, I thought Mac 10's uh, verse on here is better than his verse on the What You're Gonna Do remix. I like where he says, um, you know, first let's blast these fools, but before we get tied up, J.O., you drive so you dump out the left side and I'll buck the right side up. I like (laughs) like how he said that. Yeah, 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 dope song. Definitely like a, just kind of like a banging kind of gangster track. And uh, I know J.O. Felony, he was on the recipe as well. He had the song, um, he was on the song Ghetto Horror Story something like that ghetto horror show something like that ice cube and uh jail felony on that um that's a pretty dope song too so yeah they were obviously kind of tight around this time period so um yeah definitely a dope song yes yeah, that shit right there then we get hustle on my jeans 
I love in the beginning where Jay was talking about like fiends paying him and change. Like fuck that shit. You come with dollars. EA skins CMT likes to bang around here. Love this beat. The track about hustling and maintaining that paper. Whatever you want, Jay got your fix. You feel me? Dope track. I fucks with it. Yeah, I like it too. The beat reminds me, it's not exactly the same, but it's definitely reminiscent. You know that Bernard Wright song if it was sampled by Snoop on the G's and Hustlers? Like, it's definitely similar to that. It's definitely like an interpolation of that, that bass line. Um, I think it is anyway, but uh, yeah, dope song. I mean, pretty kind of self-explanatory from the from the title, what it's about. Just, yeah, uh, J.O. finally just doing his thing and just, uh, yeah, I mean, it's another really solid track on, on the on the record. Don't really have a ton to say about that one, but yeah, just, you know, J.O. doing what he does best. Fuck yeah. End of the world. J.O. produces his joint himself. Jill talks about the wild shit going on in the world. Talks about how women like going through, they're, like throwing their babies in the trash. Touches on harsh realities as well, like women having babies from five different fathers and not providing them properly for them. Like that shit still happens today, man. You know, no matter what community you go through, shit's going on, you know. But yeah, dope. Like introspective track because Jill was just spitting bars, talking about peeling niggas' caps and shit. But he gets real. Uh, introspective on this track dope uh, cut right here end of the world yeah definitely and the the beat as well uh, by joe felony himself kind of fits that kind of subject matter as well it sounds kind of dark and sort of like like it is the end of the world you know yeah. um, i kind of get like a vibe of like you know um you know isham's kill the fetus a little bit you know that kind of idea that like you know mothers you know just not being fit to have children basically just like yeah. you know just while and just not you know care and you know just you know just the yeah, terrible like honestly it's just i don't even want to talk about it it's just terrible way <laughs> to be yeah. but i appreciate that joe found you know putting that out there it's like yeah there's some yeah. horrible just parents out there that just don't give a shit and uh yeah i mean yeah i mean pretty heavy subject matter it's a nice way to break things up though because most of this album is just like hard like lyrical punches and stuff like this uh, you know definitely has some some substance to it and uh yeah it's another dope track you know and uh, again joe felony's production is pretty dope you know he goes to show yeah. that he, he had chops behind the boards for sure yeah man then we get jayo justice against y'all oppressors featuring e40 Ice Cube, Tony T Funk on the boards. E40 does his thing on here like he always does. Mad character on the mic. Um, J.O. has a dope verse. Ice Cube comes correct as well. This is War and Peace era Cube, but he does his he does his thing. Dope verse, and I love E40 at the end. He's like shouting out, bigs up himself, bigs up Cube, and he's like shout out to J.O. And he's like <laughs> San Diego, uh, hey, let go of my motherfucking ego, bitch. <laughs> No, no one talks shit like that, nigga. Nobody, bro. No. Shit's great. Dope ass track, man. Yeah, I like this song. I remember being a bit disappointed when I first heard it because I love Ice Cube and E40 so much. And this is actually the first time that they would ever work together uh, on a track. And then, of course, that would end up being like, um, you know, they would work with, with each other multiple times since, and they since the the, uh, the recent Mount Westmore album. But uh, yeah, this is the kind of first time with those two actually work together but um yeah i remember i remember just um being a little bit let down because i love the song that e40 and joe felony do, do together on the, the element of surprise the I, money scheme I, I prefer that better yeah you know, yeah yeah that that sounds crazy good but uh yeah, no, too, yeah. Uh, yeah uh anyone waiting for that you know you'll get your wish in a few months time <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah no it's a pretty good song like you said ice cube on here um definitely like not peak ice cube you know you can tell it's like 97 98 that he had changed uh like you said war and peace era um i personally i don't know how you feel about war and peace volume one yeah. i personally like that album a bit now you know what i mean i oh, used yeah? to not like it but i think it's a decent album yeah well i listen to corn far leader and he's on there so it kind of made me want to listen to that again and i fucking you know I love it. I love ghetto vet, my nigga. Shit like that. Oh, fool, I'm a vet. You can bet, but I can dance on the water and not get wet. It really, it's reeling bullets, but I'm still here. <laughs> All right. And, and, and I'm choosing another corn. He's like, hit your, hit your ass in the head with my forty. Yeah, he was going in. So yeah, I'm gonna go back. Yeah, to yeah. 
yeah, you never know. Uh, I know we, we, we've we mostly um, tied up our schedule, but you never know. We might uh, maybe look into doing War and Peace, but we, oh, yeah. we definitely have more Cube on the way. That's for sure. Cube's definitely oh, yeah. confirmed. But uh, yeah, I mean, what, yeah, J- J-A-Y-O. Um, it's a pretty solid track. It's not it's not an ultimate favorite, you know, but um, I don't know. It's It's just not an ultimate favorite. I still like it, you know what I mean? But it's not yeah. like, it's not as crazy as a you know, some of the other tracks on here, but uh, I don't know what it is. Maybe I just have my expectations too high based on the features or something. I don't know. I don't blame you. Like yeah. I said, if you <laughs> was on what you're going to do, the West Coast remix, probably would have shined better or not, you know? Instead of Redman, because Redman has that whack-ass little line, you know? <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm so cool <laughs> that I shop in the Frozen now. What, like a normal person then? Like everyone else? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's like saying... I'm so hot, I take a shower with the hot water on. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And then we get the outro. J.O. has his uh, nephew talking shit a bit on here. You can keep your motherfucking Jim Jones juice, you know, meaning he's uh, not a slave to the system like the, you know, like Jim Jones did to all them people in Guyana in 78. But, uh, yeah, man, dope little outro. Uh, as a whole, I fucking love this album, man. Yeah, no, not much to say about the outro. Kind of just a nice way to kind of wrap things up and sort of get across, like I said, the kind of overall kind of theme of the album. It's not, yeah, you know, like I said, not strictly a concept album, but there's definitely a, a through line throughout it for sure. Yeah, y'all. Do you have it? Jail felony. What you're gonna do? 1998 turns 25 this year. Like doing every episode of Speed Club Podcast, we hit y'all niggas with the top three songs and the sauce mic rating. So my top three songs on this album, I got to go with What You're Going to Do, original with DMX and Met the Men. Then I got to go with That Lovely. You know what I'm saying? That Lovely's crazy. And uh, I'm Deadly is the name of that track. I'm, I'm Deadly. Uh, yeah. Top three right there. Love them joints. And then I would give this... A strong four mics. Four. Yeah. I think I prefer Take a Ride by a, a small cunt here, but um, yeah. What you're going to do is banging. Banging up. Yeah, so I, actually, so this is where we differ. I actually prefer this. This is my favorite J.O. Felony album. Um, yeah, I mean, Take a Ride is great. Don't get me wrong. Like, the title track of that, Take a Ride. That Won't beat you is take a crazy. Ride. <laughs> it's so that I mean that song alone is incredible, and obviously you got stuff on there like you know Shermstick, everyone knows, and the look is on his own. I love uh, Can't Keep a G Down. That's another one of my favorites on that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think what you're gonna do is, I think lyrically it's stronger, and I think Jero Felney is. It's weird to say, but he sounds hungrier on this album, even though like it's his second. I don't know. It seems like um, he just went in on this album. I love like just. Like we said earlier, how lyrical he is and how aggressive he is. And he doesn't really let up, you know, apart from, um, you know, Lovely is a little bit different. But everything else, he just, you know, goes full steam ahead. And yeah, I mean, the album is great overall. Like, I love the production on here. You know, like, it's mostly DJ Silk and EA Ski, CMT. They're kind of like the main producers. But, you know, it's filled out nicely with, you know, a couple of J.O. productions. You got the the T-Funk guy and the... um, t-mix track as well it's it really really good production uh you know great g-funk stuff like it there's a good, it's a good nighttime album i think as well and uh yeah i mean all the the features do their thing as well like good you know thought out features you know what i mean working you know east west and south on this album which is dope and uh yeah, I mean, I think it's a really strong album. No wax tracks on it either. You know, every track yeah. on here is good. You know, really good for the most part. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to give it 4.5. I love it. I personally, like, when I think of West Coast albums in 98, it's up there. It's, it's oh, it's up there. It does, yeah. right? Yeah, it does. Um, I would put the element of surprise by E40 up there. Oh, yeah. um, what else off the top of my head? Off the eye, maybe? All from the eye, yep, that's up there too. Yeah, that's War and Peace now, it. right? Could you like that now? Uh, it's not up there though. I would say War and Peace is, <laughs> is not as good as this. <laughs> uh, you know, I like this more than like Snoop's album from '98. I like this more than 
uh what else uh west coast wise came out 98 i like this more from the g fast by silly silver though that's a, that's an underrated album too um, the corruption of course Fucking hell. oh far better god <laughs> <laughs> that's like bottom of the list <laughs> bottom of a fucking barrel young Gotti. Yeah, yeah, and that's, man, I love corrupt. It's so sad. I know, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, what you gonna do? It's just a great album all the way through, and uh, it's yeah, definitely strongly recommend anyone who hasn't checked it out. Definitely do, you know, hell on the riddles. My top three tracks are gonna be, you know, what you gonna do with DMX and Method Man. Love that track, just yeah big single but it's just so instantly you know catchy and memorable and i don't get tired of that anytime i put it on i just love it you know um i'm deadly i just i think that's probably the best kind of showcase of joe's lyrical skills and his uh just his you know fierce kind of style and uh, the production on that by ea ski and cmt is phenomenal too and uh i'm for uh track three uh it's quite tricky but i'm gonna go with nitty gritty you know the other single that kind of like kind of a, a cover of uh houdini's by a minute of funk i just love that again that beat is just crazy good and he rides that wonderfully um yeah really really good but uh yeah i mean pretty much the whole album's great in my I, opinion i would say the highs on what you're gonna do are better than the highs on take a ride okay so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, I could change my mind tomorrow, but I'm just saying, like, if I had a, if I, if I cut here, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not, there's not much, much in it. I know what you're saying, absolutely. Yeah. San Diego, San Diego, my motherfucking Diego, bitch. Did yeah. you ever listen to anything else by him? That crip hop shit I did, I wasn't, I wasn't fucking with that. That was a long time ago, though. Yeah, there, there's some good tracks on it for sure. It's not, it's not garbage. Definitely not yeah. garbage. There's a couple of good tracks in there. There's a song called um, "What You Need," produced by Battle Cat. That's pretty dope. Uh, there's a song on there uh, called "Hotter Than Fish Grease," which is produced by DJ Silk. It sounds like something that would be on this, so that's pretty good too. Um, and that that was around the period when he was going out like the Dog Pound and like Snoop Dogg and stuff like that. I guess he wasn't happy that. Um, you know, obviously the East Siders had their song Crip Hop and stuff like that. I don't think he was too happy with that because, um, you know, I, I think he felt that he coined the term Crip Hop on the song Because um, I Can on the 40s uh, Charlie Hustle album featuring uh, Sebo as well. That song's yeah. crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that's that's uh, a hard song. I remember that. Hell of hard, hard, yeah. Yeah, with the gunshots in the background and everything. Yeah, that, yeah it's crazy good. Uh, you know when Game was chewing out G-Unit like in summer of 05? Mm -hmm. He said a dope line about Tony Young. He's like, yeah, yo, you got a felony, but you ain't jail. <laughs> <laughs> in a building from the West Coast, nigga. What's happening? Yo, what's up, Cole Jones? Chilling what's in the fucking building, my brother, man. Been MIA for a bit. Yeah. So, G... What's happening? Hi, dope review, y'all. I was I watched the whole whole thing. Thank so you. Man. Appreciate it. How to put everything? It down. Classic yeah, yeah, album, yeah. and yeah, I think he did coin the phrase "crip hop" uh, on that E40 album. Yeah, Charlie Hustle. I love that it's album like, too. Fuck hip hop, <laughs> just crip hop. Yeah. Fucking name knows like this. That shit hard, nigga. Oh, that whole yeah. album go hard. That it does. Album. Yeah. Yeah. L.I.Q. Liq, big balling with my homies. Uh, yeah, big balling with my homies. <laughs> mossy up, yeah, mossy up. Um, seasons, seasons was dope, and uh, the the track with Cash Money. Oh, I love that shit. Yeah, where where they? Um, yeah, I think B uh, BG did dope. Him and Juvie did dope. It's my favorite show. Cash Money millionaire right there. B Jizzle, BG, nigga. yes sir, yes sir. What's new with y'all though, man? Not much, bro. I had a rough motherfucking week, so it's nice to talk to the motherfucking homies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, same here. Had, had a crazy week. Um, while y'all was talking, I got some shit in the mail, so I opened this package while y'all was doing your review, and I got this right here. Oh, oh shit! Smoke something, bitch. Man. <laughs> <laughs> so the first time get on down, drop this shit. I missed the sale and it sold out fast. Yeah. Like within an hour, I believe, a couple hours. 
So I didn't miss it this time, though. I didn't miss the, the second time Smoking around. Smoking on Doja. Oh, yeah. yeah. That shit's fire. I can't wait to play that one up in here. Spinning and riding. I've had so much new music, and I have not, like, posted it much on Instagram. I got, like, 20 new albums that I still haven't even listened to, man. I'm falling behind. I'll be honest with you. I got an announcement to make over here, my nigga. I think I said it on my Instagram, but... You got what? I got an announcement to say, man. Like, it ain't nothing big. It's just like what I've been going through musically. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm in some underground hip hop fucking fatigue. I'm sick of everything. I'm sick of Griselda. Oh, I'm sick of Griselda. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. It's like, I'll listen to this shit, but I, rarely. I don't know what it is. I listen to 90s hip hop and fucking metal, my nigga. You feel me? Damn. And you know what? I've been listening to a lot of RB. Um, that too. I listen to that shit. It's the I, same shit. I got a bird from this kid, Colombian nigga, and I, shut the fuck up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah, sick hey, of it. Right though, uh, the the underground's been saturated. Like a lot of them sound too the same. Similar. Too similar. No, nah, don't get it twisted. If Common drop an album, I'm bumping it. But sure. you know, uh, I stopped following anyway. a lot of people though. I stopped following a lot of these underground because I'm Apple, them niggas is all them niggas is boring now, bro. Yeah, yeah, like e. Uh, I mean, I've been listening to Substance uh, right here. This is from uh, yeah, Umbrella all Ty day. Ferris. This is Ty Ferris, but that that Substance, this shit right here though. Yeah, Rick been telling me listen to that shit, bro. That shit fire. Look at that. Shit. That artwork is just fucking amazing. Like fucking Dark Knight shit, nigga. Joker. Yeah, bro. Yeah, like like that shit is just crazy. And um, uh, what's it called? So I've been playing that shit, and he sent he sent me a hoodie and everything to go with it. It's pretty dope. That that album, I think you'll really enjoy that album. It's not like everything else out there. And as far as physicals are concerned, I was telling Vod, like I'm I'm just buying fucking vinyls from like '90s shit, my nigga. '90s hip hop, late '80s, you know. That's what I'm doing, my nigga. You feel me? Yeah, I got a shit ton of new vinyls. Uh, um, I found I've that been... new vinyl that was dope. Oh yeah, a wall, I think it is. Yeah, and it was on the silver vinyl. I, I got that for like fifteen dollars, man. I was like, "Wow!" I've been championing this fucking genre for fucking years, and I'm just—it's boring bullshit, my nigga. Like, yeah, that um, you know what it is to me? I think a lot of them, other than Umbrella, um, like Griselda. I know that's your crew. They they got money. <laughs> they, they, they got, got big now. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. They're big now. They big time in it now, you know. And it's like the the music's not the same. What do they drop? Rome is my guy though. That's my guy still. And I fuck with him. I, I still love Griselda. Don't get it twisted. It just yeah. I don't know, dude. I'm, I'm I, over I, saturation. It's just too much, you know. Yeah, yeah, there you go. And I'm kind of fatigued on the shit. You know. I think. Um, you know, e even like you know the bars over bullshit. Um, I'm not getting every drop. I'm getting the Ty Ferris drops and the Mickey Diamond drops. That that's really it. Um, he be dropping other albums from other artists, but it, it it's like every week there's another fucking drop, and I'm like, I'm not buying all that. Fuck that, nigga. I'd rather buy the fucking Slipknot self title vinyl, nigga. That's what I just got. <laughs> a couple yes. weeks ago. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> like like. Um, I'm after older albums right now. Uh, I Tell heard you. that in Europe. I heard maybe Ross, you could you could uh, confirm this that they they released uh, West Side Connection Bow Down on vinyl. Oh shit! There. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, only sure. a couple record shops out here got them, and they sold so fast. I didn't even know it was coming out. I would have been on it. Um, but yeah, hopefully I run into a a, a copy of it. That'd be I don't dope. Care if it's bootleg. I don't care if it's bootleg. I'll take. I don't it. care about a bootleg either, unless it looks good. You, you know what I mean, and, <laughs> yeah. and you know, record store day coming up. There, there's some good shit on record store day coming up. Um, Mozzie's Blada is coming out on vinyl for the first Blada. time. Blada, that's man, like shit right there, shit. Uh, Mike. If I see two copies, I got you. I'm My after nigga. that one. That's like the holy grail one, uh, for me. Uh, games 1992. Oh, shit. coming out on vinyl for the first time, which you know, I highly enjoyed that album, and um. Oh, what's it called? Jim Jones on my way to church is gonna be on vinyl for you know? really. Yeah, so well, that, that's really this right there, man. Uh, uh, PM Don got one of their old ones on my way to church. I need that, <laughs> right? 
Yeah, so that's so, summer 04 smoking weed in the whip with my nigga Ray. I and listening to shit out of Cash Flow right after that, my nigga. You feel me? So, so mainly, you know, that Mozzie and, and, and that Jim Jones is, is like top of my list. Top of my list. Uh, I, if I could get the game, I want it. E40 revenue retrieving day shift. I'll get that too, but uh, we'll see what happens. Hell yeah, brother. He lost her hunger, getting complacent. Yeah, everybody did. Batista, everybody did. Fucking... Unless I've gone wearing fucking tight apple bottom jeans with the fur ass nigga, man. And pocketbooks. Oh, and... oh no. Lowrider, <laughs> <Did> he... <A-pen? laughs> You know, Westside, I had, I mean, his albums have been cool, but I think he peaked with um, Pray for Prayers. That Kenny right there, has- though. Oof. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, on a uh, hill of ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Crazy. I mean, it was cool, but I wasn't replaying it like I did with that album, though. Like, I, yeah, I, I got you. I, I, I moved on, and uh, same, same like Flea Lord. I was loving Flea Lord's work, and now he, oh, God. he, could, he ain't even releasing shit no more because he burned himself out. No, I hear what he does to say, "I'm riding in the stick with the blick." Then he go, "I'm riding in a stick with the blick." I fucking hate that. <laughs> <laughs> peeing ass nigga on some Jewel uh, Santana type shit, nigga. Uh, I'm fed Jones. up with all these niggas. <laughs> Yontay Jones, what up? I'm good, I'm good. Shout out to, <laughs> Looking out, dog. Shout out to the Yontay. That's my guy right there. What's happening, dog? I, yeah. it, it, it's, it's just, y'all, I've been on training. I was gone for like 40 days, um, work, and then Cali just got rocked with this storm. I had my fence fall down. My water heater went out last night. Oh, damn. Um, and then on one of my, my cars, one of my cars, the battery was out. So I had a busy day today, y'all. I, I mean, I fixed everything, but I was busy all fucking day today. Then I saw some stupid fucking movie, uh, Cocaine Bear. That shit was retarded as fuck. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. <laughs> That's just stupid as fuck. <laughs> That's just stupid. Uh, Back to music, but like Soul Assassins, they pissing me off too because that Jay Worthy album, y'all, I pre-ordered that shit back in like October. God, that damn. shit's still in here, man. Wow. That's and I them up, we're like, oh, oh, we're waiting on the manufacturer. Like, yo, I'm tired. Ty- artists, I'm, I'm tired of fucking artists releasing shit. Don't don't release it unless you have it in hand. That's it. Yeah, exactly. You know, and, and there's no excuse for Soul Assassins because Mugs has his own pressing plant. So he has his own. He does all his own pressing shit. So like, they ain't no fucking excuse. You ain't waiting on these backed up factories. It's like that shit's annoying as fuck. Come on, mugs. Looking to get into Prince music. There you go. All right, let me see this. Mike, I'm looking to get into Prince's music. What are the great albums that you get from my CD collection that the estate had released and remastered? Sign of the that Times, my nigga, all fucking day. Okay. That was the best free release, especially that big box set. Oh, it's fucking set. gorgeous, ain't it? Here, yeah. That big box set. That shit oh, it's dope. beautiful. It's beautiful, money. That's my favorite album he ever did. Then I go with uh, Purple Rain. That's like the, the newbie answer. And then I would hit he got niggas with 1999, my nigga. Yeah. DSMR. Oh, shit. Dance, music, sex, romance. <laughs> yep. I'm in the minority. I love the uh, r- rave to the fantastic, uh, fantastic. Enjoy. I love that shit. You wearing that blue fucking silky gay shit? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't like that shit. I gotta go back and listen, Rick. Yeah, I, it's cool. It's he got cool. Eve I mean, on the album, doesn't he? He got yeah. Eve on that bitch. Yeah, yeah. That shit, that shit's fire. And he, when he released it on CD, it was the Q pack too. So that shit was great. No limit type shit. <laughs> yeah, man. Big ups to No Limit. Big ups to Mac. I just saw this documentary. They were talking about the Young Thug um, court case, but they focused a lot on Mac on how. The the district attorney used his lyrics against him when he got locked up, and um, how it's some bullshit, all the racism and everything in it. Because only hip hop artists get target for that. Yeah. You don't see country artists; they they talk about killing people too, man. They, they don't get fucking locked up for this shit. Yo, uh, my favorite Prince album after the classic period is that Rainbow Children. That shit is. Oh, that shit fire! That's a, that's some yeah. The instruments he used on there was great. Yeah, I love that fucking album. Yeah, I, I want them to re-release Black Album. I mean, I have it and, and Crystal Ball. I have oh, those yeah, albums. Yeah, I don't have Crystal Ball, nigga. But re-release them. 
re-release yeah. them. Like I, I, I want to see if they can do something different with it, or you know, the mastering and all that stuff too. I think that boy Vod. I think Ross fucks with some of that uh, that erotic city too with Sheila oh, E. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Sheila E, man. You know what? Prince gave her so many hits. That glamorous life is fire. Yeah, actually, I love that song. Love it. I love. I love Prince's version of it. That shit's fire. That original. Song. Oh yeah, he he should have kept that for himself. He should have. He should have never. I mean, Sheila E did dope, but I don't think he should have ever gave it to her. He won. I should fire. Because once I heard his version when it, they dropped it, what last year, the year before last. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've never gone back to the Sheila E version since then. That's funny. Prince has too many cuts. Yeah. Tupac, um, what I heard is the they're re-releasing, they're doing the greatest hits again. Um, but I think it's gonna focus more on the later albums. Mixed with like it's gonna be a mixture of both. And they're re they're releasing for the first time three unheard songs. So I'm anxious to see what oh shit, how they fuck this up. Cause I'm sure they'll fuck it up. He also should have kept uh screams of passion for himself from the oh. family. Cause it, I, you hear that demo he did. It's yes. fucking. You know, he's supposed to put it. Supposed to put that on um around the world in a day. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want to hear um you don't know my name. So he gave that up to Alicia Keys, but they said yeah. the original versions in the vault. Oh shit! I want to hear his version of that shit. I heard y'all talking about Ice Cube, man. Yeah, I'm telling y'all, y'all be hating on Volume Two, man. I'm telling y'all. No, I don't hate on Volume Two. I think it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> the gutter shit has Joe Felony on it. There's, there's gutter shit with Joe Felony is fire. Yep. That, that beat is, is yeah. crazy. I, I think you're thinking of Steve, bro. Steve be going ham on that shit. Oh yeah, yes. no, he hits it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I saw him. Ladder um, Black album. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I saw I saw uh, Mobile Already One posted a, a CD update and he showed off uh, "I Am the Worst" and uh, yeah, it was actually surprisingly positive on it. I expected him to was he? Hit that album. Yeah, I, I yeah. saw he posted the posted it. I didn't get to see his breakdown on it though. Yeah, I mean, seems hilarious. I, I'm the West. It's cool. It wasn't Cube's best shit though. Oh, def- I, definitely I'm not. No, it. no, no. It's got some good songs though. I'll listen to Volume Two before I Am the West. Um. Yeah, same here. Probably. I, I, I'm gonna see Cube in concert in May. Yeah, nice. I'm gonna see him in May. It's Cube, Cypress Hill, DJ Quick, Sugar, uh, Sugar Free, uh, Rodney O, and DJ Joe Cooley, and Burner and Dubsy. Yeah, it's gonna be a cool show, man. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of weed up in that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, they finally got the Kingdom Come on CD. I need What's to that? check that. King T. All black cover. It should have been the vinyl cover they used for the overseas version. That's the after. I thought it was on vinyl. I thought they released it on vinyl. Somebody was telling me it was vinyl. Yeah, I seen it, but I want to see what Doobie talking about. Let me see. Yeah, I'm going to get on. The <laughs> yeah. I'm broke as fuck, but next time maybe if there is a next time, let's see what they got here. Waiting for that Mount Westmore vinyl to come out. I can handle the chat real quick, and I can't see. It. I'm just trying to. Yeah, yeah, it's all. Good. I'm, I'm looking. Yeah. King of God. Yeah, it is all black. It's all blacked out. What the fuck? That's just whack. Like, like when DJ Quick did um. DJ Quick did the fucking safe and sound it. vinyl. Shit was yeah. whack. I'm like, why didn't you just put the original cover on there, man? In 1999, too, just a white label. Fucking yeah, thing. that shit was whack as fuck too. Stupid nigga. Quick Cypress and Dubsy's West Coast Supergroup material. DJ Quick Cypress. And, I don't know. Not gonna work. I don't, I don't think so. I mean, I won't count it out, but on paper it don't sound right. No, that's a weird mixture. I think. Even Dubsy and Quick don't, as a group, don't sound right. The voices you gotta, you know. yeah. I'm like trying to, mm, nah. I know quick and be real, yes. You know, they did Fandango, they did some cool shit. That, that um, boy Reza needs some more West Coast shit to listen to, but he's very, I, I uh, don't, I don't know, 
Especially Dub C with Cypress Hill. That, that don't really sound right. That was how, hey, speaking of West Coast shit, you, you start um Snowfall? Absolutely. But, man, hey. You a nigga! <laughs> oh, man, he just slapped Franklin like a little bitch. Franklin goes, ah! Somebody screamed. He was slapping Franklin like a little bitch up in there. I was like, damn, man. Do it, nigga! I think Jerome gonna be the one to pull the trigger on Franklin. How about when he killed the hit of bitch? Oh, man, he was just, wah, wah, like, oh, He's man. like, I'm gonna stay shot. I'm gonna stole on you. That shit was gangster. <laughs> Boy, he's like, you tell Franklin I did this shit. I was like, fuck. Um, if, I don't think Franklin's gonna make it out alive. Probably not, nigga. I think he's getting clapped. Um, and his boy, where's his boy at? I Leon I went to he, Africa or some weird. Yeah, Le, Leon need to come back. He need to come back. I love when Franklin be screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Franklin ah! ain't got nobody though. He he had just those two bitches. That's all he had. Had the bitch got up the game. He got no team. He got no no money. He got nothing going for him, man. Franklin just losing left and right. He gotta get some hitters, man. He got uh. Kane, but he's all half dead in the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no unconfused. <laughs> hey, yo, yo, Vod, you would love that shit, my nigga. It's straight up yeah. San Andreas type shit, bro. Nice, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and, and Dub C, he's the consultant for the show. Yo. So he taught these fools how to be gangster. Like, Dub C took them under the wing before and they started filming. Frank is from the UK, and he sounds just yeah. like a West Coast nigga, bro. It's crazy. And, and uh, Leon, the guy who played Leon, had to follow Dub C for a long time. That's dope. To to study his character and yeah, his swag and shit, man. That's the South Franklin Bay that that, that died. That's someone who would actually, I would love to have a new album from, actually, with Dub C. Who, Dub? Yeah. Hell yeah. It's been too long. To have him on what? Uh, a new album. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but he makes so much money in Hollywood, and he ain't even acting. They just want his expertise, man. Like, he yeah, makes so yeah. much money off that. And then, of course, uh, well, he's going to be at the Ice Cube concert, too. Dubsy is on there. Uh, he Anywhere Cube's performing, uh, Dubsy's always yeah. on there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Franklin Franklin's mama need, needs to just stay out of it. The only person I want to see survive, there's two people. I want to see Jerome survive and Oso. Oso? Oso. Like yeah. Oso, man. Me, I'm a Frank, I'm a Franklin fan. I really am. I love Franklin Saint. That's that guy. And yeah. then I would say oh, Uncle Jerome, man, that's my guy too. I don't I don't know, bro. Look. If I had to pick between the Jerome, I gotta have Jerome survive. Jerome. Franklin, what? Franklin will burn his own people, man. Like he don't. Yeah, but, but Franklin was talking that real shit though. He was like, "You were sitting on a stoop waiting on that bitch to get off that shirt." <laughs> <laughs> oh, I give you more than a fucking boombox with a weight bench, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I need to say to you. Ah, I'll, I'll tell you, Ross, you would love this show. It's fucking fantastic. It's like Rockstar oh, yeah. did it or something, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, Oso's that guy though. The Mexican Oso's guy. cool, man. Oso's a loyal dude. He, he's a loyal dude. I and... want Teddy to get popped. Fuck that bitch ass nigga. Who? Oh, the white Teddy. dude. Yeah. 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 And they're after him too, man. He got people, all kinds of people after him right now. Yeah. Saint is a dog for sure. Can't you can't trust? Can't trust. Oh, I, I don't trust that baby mama. I don't trust that bitch. No, fuck no. I'm telling you, I have a feeling Leon got to show up. It's the final season. Yeah, come on, Leon. Fuck it out of Africa, nigga. Can't have, have a final season without Leon. I'm, I'm with you, dude. Teddy to die, yeah. And then um, Mayans is ready to come back real soon. Oh, that one I'm, I'm waiting on. Uh, Mayor of Kingstown, anybody watch that up in the chat? Nah, I seen the commercials and shit. My man, gangster shit. Oh shit, gangster like, don't don't let. The... It's on Paramount, right? Because I I got another free month of Paramount for it. Ends yeah, in March. it's on Paramount. Yeah, the first season fire. Second season makes the first season look like shit. 
like but the first season is fire as fuck uh but the second season it's all you know dealing with the crips and everything like that oh, and, and the essays and the whites like it's all gang shit i love that shit you know, you know it's all about this this white boy um the fool from the marvel movies he hawkeye, he's like the right? mediator he's the mediator between all the gangs and shit it's the nigga that play hawkeye oh, i never watched any of the marvel shit. i wouldn't oh. know his name. <laughs> Well, I, I, I know what it is. I've seen the commercial, so yes, it's definitely. But um, yeah, he he rolls solo, but he's the mediator, so these gangs have respect for him. But this season, they're losing it from from him. That you know, I, he ain't gonna last too long if he doesn't do his place cards right. No shit. Yeah, that bitch Teddy B fucking. I can't fuck with her. Yeah, <laughs> she she crazy too. She's Spanish stupid. bitch, or some kind of nationality. That bitch is. <laughs> Yeah. Snowfall, and it's only two episodes. I, I we're gonna get at least what ten, I'm thinking. Yeah, so we got eight more episodes left. This shit is fire. I love it. This shit started off crazy. They already started whacking people out. That's why I think a lot of people gonna end up dying. I, I, I'm mad it's ending though. Like yeah. I think they still went with it because cocaine from the 80s to the 90s was just a different trip. They're in 89 right now. Yeah, late 89 right now, you know. And the '90s was was a war zone in the '90s. Yeah, I'm telling you, Ross, you'd love that shit, dog. He would. He yeah. would. It's like Rockstar fucking did a show. Rockstar Games did a show. Yeah, it, it's pretty much some Grand Theft Auto shit. Mm-hmm. I'll fuck with Louis. No, Louis? Uh, Jerome's bitch. Oh <laughs> no! Fuck no! <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, uh, Franklin put, pointed the gun at her. I'm like, Ugh, man, that's your uncle's girl. Like, dog. Mm. She stole the plug. She did steal the plug, though. Yeah. It's, Franklin was fucking up, though, man. He was fucking up. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> I don't know. And then they, they had Stacy. He was up on there. I'm always going to call that full Stacy. Likewise. Yeah. Like from fucking <laughs> some kind of herbal fucking dish. Um, I was watching um, Lock Up. Uh, was it Lock Up? Lock Down. The Master P movie? Dope. That shit is fire. I, I, I mean, I've seen it, but... It's Yo, Ross, the only good movie he made. <laughs> 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 it's that really is, good. He yeah, had help. You ain't lying. Th- that is a really good Master P flick, and he's... He, because he's not the main character. But Paul Stacy giving head to that Nazi nigga. Oh, dude. It made <laughs> Stacy look like a bitch in that movie. <laughs> they made him look like a bitch. <laughs> um. He's always Stacy. What else y'all be listening to? What what's new shit y'all be listening to though? Yeah, talk to the chat. Not the same. <laughs> I pulled up my last FM, which tracks all the shit I listen to. I'll tell you niggas what I've been bumping, man. Let me see. I listened to the mailman by E40 today. <laughs> Hell yeah. 9-3? 9-4? 9-4? Yep, 9-3, yeah. All right, Joe Felony for the show. Got Ty Ferris, No Coast, Not Just Cocaine. Some Stone Temple Pilots, Purple. Nice. Uh, yeah, DSI, oh, Death Metal shit, Deftones. Slayer, uh, you know, like I told you, I'm not, I'm not kind of that at the bag right now. I'm not really bumping no underground shit like that. That new Mac Ten singles, though, you you would like it, Mike. Oh, word. It's some West Coast shit, uh, low rider shit. It's called King of Chevys, and it has Battle Cat on there doing the talk box. Oh and, shit! Uh, yeah, it it reminds me of old Mac, like based on true story, Mac Ten. It reminds me of that. Back yeah, I'll check it out. Not, not this cash money Mac 10. Like he he really oh, took hell. that shit back. <laughs> you like that? What's hit hitting for J? Yeah, that shit was fire. That shit old dog and AWAC with MC8. Yeah. And Jake Worthy, like it's that like, shit was fire. He's but, like, this a mama you and doing D Bo snuck on pool. <laughs> Talking about red from Friday. Yeah. <laughs> But but uh Muggs is fucking up with the release on that shit. I ordered the CD and the fucking record, man. And I I'm done. I'm done with Soul Assassins. The only time I'm gonna order something, if he does something with like Sick Jacket, that's it. I'm not I'm not ordering nothing the rest of this year from Soul Shout Assassins. Shout out to Sick Jacket, my guy. I, I'm done with uh I'm done with the, a lot of these independent people fucking up, man. Terrible. 
a fucking awesome project. It was a dope project. It really was. And it had potential, but yeah. Mugs is just lazy. Shout out to Jay Ferris. No coast. Yeah, that, that's a dope one, Doobie. That, that's the hat right here, Ty Ferris sent me. Fucking love Ty Ferris. The Razor, the Coke lines. You got the bars over bullshit. Yeah. Bars over BS, nigga. Yeah, Ty Ferris. And um, he got something else coming out really bullshit. soon, too. But the Ty Ferris, he got some. Uh, Substance 810, he got. I think three more projects is going to drop this year. And I, I told him myself, I don't know if you could top this one, dog. Like, good luck, because this is his best album I think he's ever done. And I don't think he could top it. I told him I really don't think so. And it's that I good. I got to check album. it out because I fuck with Umbrella Heavy, you know? You do? Yeah, man. And and it has some some dope. Uh, J. Royale and him got a, a, a track called. Shoebox, shoebox knots, and that one's fire. Him and J. Royale go up in that shit. Word. Because J. Royale, he raps different. He don't rap that same tired ass bullshit these other niggas do. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with Ty Ferris. Yeah. Different shit. And, and that's what I like that Ty Ferris hasn't gone down that road that these fools have gone down. He's, same he's beats, seen, same um, whack ass fucking loops. Just staying original. You know, he's doing his thing. He, and um, it's not corny as fuck. I think Griselda's biggest problem was signing the major deals they did. I still enjoy those albums. That's just me personally, but yeah, yeah. You know, uh, I had to unfollow Westside Gun. He he got on my nerves too much as far as art, art. art. This is art. I'm the king at art. I'm the best at art. I'm like, shut the fuck up. And, already, and he dressing with the apple bottom jeans and the boots with the fur. <laughs> you know, I get it. You know what? Hey, celebrate yourself from time to time. Yeah, you know. But no I one's fucking that. with me. I'm the best nigga I'm alive. This and that. Like, if you the best. You ain't got to go remind everybody you are. Now you know I'm fed up if I'm talking shit about this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I never thought I'd see that day, man. <laughs> yeah. I just got sick of it. It's the same old shit. You know? Edo Future Wave Out. See, I didn't know and that. I, I don't defend everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, Yeah. Like, if you act stupid, I'm going to say it. I don't give a fuck how much I like it. Right. See, I'm, a, I, that, I'm the same way. I'll keep it real. Like, Jay-Z, my favorite artist. I'll admit what songs suck. That, that, um... God did song was dope, but I didn't care for Lil Wayne and Rick Ross's verse. Jay came and bodied him with a four minute verse. I thought that yeah. shit was fire as fuck. Like he bodied him, but it just sucks when you hear DJ Khaled in the background talking shit. Big facts. And I'm mad. I'm mad that Hove gave that to DJ Khaled. He should have saved that for himself. I said Gun's a constant promo. Yeah, I mean he. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody promotes Westside Gun like he does himself. Um, Mickey Diamond's doing his thing though. That that's the one. Him and Pro Dillinger. That's another one I like. Pro Dillinger. The Puerto Rican do. Yeah, and yeah. his last album was fire. He got a new one coming out next week. That that one's being released by Bars Over Bullshit. That one I will order because I do like Pro Dillinger. I'm not even excited. I'll keep it a thousand, even though I like dude. Um, but this one right here. I thought this was a dope cover. Yeah, I got I mean, that in the mail. I didn't even show it off yet because I'm not in the mood. I haven't. Yeah, me neither. You haven't seen me post it yet. And uh, this came week a couple weeks ago. Like, <laughs> likewise, that one. I got this one in the mail like uh, a while back. I haven't posted that new terminology. Champy so. just releasing those shits. They already songs he already dropped. This is collaborative. yeah. Well, I, I like the fifty bodies, man. He, he it's a cool mix. Um, and. Uh, I haven't heard the new Crooked Eye. Him and Joel Ortiz dropped a new one. Yeah, I'm not interested. No? You didn't like the last one? I didn't hear it. Little cartoon cover. I didn't listen to that one yet. Yeah, that shit was fire. I love that shit. Um, but this one is like... Yo, Rick, I'm just a moody motherfucker right now. <laughs> 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 I just stuck in my ways right now. Listen to the old 90s shit, bro. This yeah. Metal and shit. I'd rather listen to that. I'm just... It's been an oversaturation of just fucking bullshit. I feel you, man. I feel you. I've been going through a lot. I told you know, kind. Of, I'm not gonna put it out on blast here, man. But 
yeah, uh, definitely, definitely. A little bit of what I was going through. I didn't go into detail when me and you chopped it up, but uh, yeah, just I'm, I'm gonna say over here, like the littlest things annoy the fuck out of me. Likewise, bro. I've been in a bad week, bro. Uh, annoy the fuck out of me where I don't even be posting the albums I'm listening to. I post anniversaries and I promote our show. That's all I really do. I had to post that freeway anniversary. I had to post that one. Likewise. Yeah. Yeah. Cause that shit. Damn, that, that's still a fire album. Chop thumbs up, rap about it. Fuck niggas up, laugh about it. Yeah, that shit. I was good. listening to that uh All Good with Nate Dog. That, that was a dope track. Yeah, that's a great album. That's, that's high school and, for me, boy. Yeah, I mean, one thing about Freeway, he worked with Nate Dog. He worked with rappers from the South. He worked with Bay Area rappers. He that guy was everywhere. Is Kiss the Ring one of the best Griselda albums? Yes. Yeah. Yes, for me, yes. Cadron Streets is just fucking amazing. I'm not sick of him. He, he raps differently, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. One moment. What y'all got planned next week? But Have y'all announced it? We're going to the Boogie Down Bronx, man, nigga. We're doing that KRS-One. We're trying to the boom back. Go, pop, yeah. original rap. Got some oh, March is going to be amazing. We got some hitters in March. Do you? Yeah. Um, well, I was listening to some old Fat Joe, some old Big L. I was yeah, some Harlem, a little bit of Bronx. I was I was all over the place out Lennox, there. Lennox Ave, nigga. Um, I've been in a Cameron mood. Like like I haven't listened to Cam, but I've been thinking about listening to Cameron. You feel me? What which out? What's going to be the first album you jump? I jump think I'm, I'm going to get into that uh, Purple Haze one, nigga. There you go. I gotta get in that. Come home with me. That's my shit. Oh, that's fucking flames. I love how it starts out with losing weight part two. Oh, oh. 18 Fire. months. Please, that ain't facing time. I'm stressed anyways. Needed for vacation. I love uh, that. Yeah. Line. It starts it off. You know what I'm hot summers? I was cooked up in the kitchen. <laughs> Killer. I, uh, yeah, that, that's that album. I mean, I love Purple Haze. I love. So come home with me was the commercial shit. Purple haze, it was that real dip set shit. Yeah, hit makers all over it. You know, can I get a chit chit everywhere? Chit chit. Oh, oh more shit. gangster music, yeah. right? Is that that's that shit with Joel? Yeah, it was it. Yeah, it was more gangster yeah. music. He's like that nigga Ross said that uh, hey, hey Ma was huge over there. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. I think Jim John, oh Jim John, not Jim John, Joel's, Joel's. I think he had a. Line on more gangster music. He's like, I love a thick woman with big breasts on her chest, not look like she got stomped on her chest or something like that. Oh, that's just <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> that's just hilarious. <laughs> love fucking dips. Um, the intro alone too, because he does the the jaw roll sample on there as well. Yeah, Dylan for murder. Yes, right? that. So he had that. He had um. He did a Dremlin rush too with Twister and uh, Psycho Drama. He did uh fuck what's what's the song with Jaheem is on there too. Um, Lord, you know him. Lord knows him. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was fire. Then the NWA sample one was fire. Dope man, right? Dope man. Um uh, yeah, I, I can't name all the all the Dip tracks. Dipset Forever you know, is crazy. Dipset Forever? Yeah. Down and out. Down and out with Kanye. Yeah. The Mace Dish. Take him to church. Uh -oh. Welcome in this, welcome in that. He wasn't welcome in the first place. Why are you welcome in that? Yeah, I, and I, hate Mace. Said... I fucking hated me, so I love that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck this. Mace I thing. put his brains on the Charlie track now. Probably that. I know they cool now and everything. That's good for them, man. But that, that shit was still funny back then. Hell yeah. Get them girls, heater. Get them girls. He said, lemon. Could, uh, he said, "What did he say? Um, something about lemon reds. Put them in the ear. Call them lemon heads." He had some weird line on that album too. Killer Cam, and that one. Killer yeah, Cam. that one. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Killer Cam, Killer Cam, Cam, Killer Cam, Cam. And, and that um, Killer Season's a fire album, Lewis. That shit's. Crazy. That's another one. So, so what I like about Killer Season is he followed the Purple Haze route. So there was not there was nothing commercial on Killer Season. Gangster shit. It, it was gangster shit. Even that, I, to me, that was the best Jay Z diss ever. Oh, shit oh, no. was hard. Everybody, you know, again, Jay, my favorite rapper. I love Ether, 
But I, I love um, the one that he had on there. And he had my boy, Max, Max Big Bell. Got to hate it. The way we get in this paper. Uh, I still bump the fuck out of that. And I, to me, that's the best Jay-Z this. Yeah. Talking that, about the chancletas and all that shit. He's like, you got you 40 years old. How the fuck you king of New York wearing chancletas with jeans on? <laughs> <laughs> Back to business. He's, and then he goes right into it. Bunch of publishing belongs to Miss Wallace. <laughs> like, whoa. He Kill said, us, please, bitch. <laughs> Rock you like where, when Dame had it, now you got it. Call it Kaka Wear. Boy, yeah, <laughs> shit was hard. Do you, you, you own any camp albums? Well? Yeah, yeah, I do. I have the um, Confessions of Fire and I have um, Come Home With Me. Yeah, no, I do. Yeah, I've got some yeah. of those. Hell yeah. SDE. SDE oh, you would like that, me. Ross. That's, That's hard. my favorite. Take yeah. it. The house, I'm right. Yep. L- losing the weight with prodigy is so Ooh. fucking gully. What mean the world to you? Um, what mean the world to you? Oh, oh that shit was amazing, man. Let him know. Let him know's on yeah. there. Yeah. And uh, Jimmy Jimmy Jones went in on that shit on that album too. Oh my god. That's a, but the prodigy joint is just fire. Hell yeah. It's fire. Primey yeah. gully shit. That's H and I C era P. Yeah. 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 It was and and P. Yeah. I, I'm like I didn't think he was gonna um, sign with the Rockefeller, fucking um, Cameron. I didn't think they were gonna want him because he was so cool with P and everything, and the whole yeah. J and P going back and forth shit. And he was he was cool with uh, Lance on Rivera. Yeah, that's yeah. You know what happened with Jay and, and him? You know what Jay did to that fool? Stab that boy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Mimi's talking about how you didn't get your CD. Yeah, it's fucking pathetic. Five months it took for Ricardo to hear about his CD. Too. What? No, because she, she said five months. Like, she was in shock by it. And then I said, five months what? So she just answered my question from earlier. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See? Sorry, delayed reply. Are we talking about the DJ Mugs one? Yeah, the Mugs. It's just still in here. So it's five months of counting. It's just still in here. That's terrible. I emailed I emailed Soul Assassins and they replied and they just said we're we're still waiting for it to arrive. And <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. Fuck you. Like, you know, Marathon don't even take that. Marathon's actually quick now with their products, man. I I had to spend the money. I got every Nipsey album, all the official releases. Like, the Marathon is important to me. So yeah. They're 100 bucks. I'm like, I can't afford that. Shit. <laughs> you know what? With this army training, I you know that. That's what I use to pay for it, man. If I didn't do that army training, I was just gonna buy one a month. No, nah, if, 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 <laughs> if, if it was on get on down, oh yeah, I'm buying. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Cause if you like what 30. Yeah. And, and um so I do got the bootleg version of Crenshaw, Mailbox Money, Slauson Boy. But um Bulletin got no name, all three of those. Like that's never I've never even seen a bootleg version. So this is the you know, official release, but I had to get the marathon, like, because that that that's my favorite Nipsey album ever. The marathon, so, fucking yeah, the marathon. fire, it's my shit. Me, I hate to be cliche, but it's victory lap. Yeah, I, I mean, but mixtape, I gotta go with Crenshaw. So, so yeah, all right, album victory laps is only album. You yeah. know, he, he never had nothing else. But, but those tapes sound like fucking albums. They, every last one of them. For, other than Bullets Ain't Got No Name. I Well, even Marathon, because he had some a lot of samples on there, like he, the Mac 11 on the dresser. Um, That's a crazy song, yeah. I, 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 listen, I prefer to listen to that over Kanye's Runaway. Um, but Crenshaw, was, that should have been an album. It should have. I got that OG in my cup. Oh, that's my shit on it. Oh man, um, same same. Mailbox money should have been an album as well. Oh my god, that's how I knew. My that's favorite, new, one of my favorite Nipsey songs. Five top five slept on rappers of all time. Damn, nigga, you straining my brain, my guy. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Jail. I, one of them. I could get. Let me. I, I'll break it down. East Coast, South, West Coast, like, cause 
East Coast, you got AZ Cormega. Um, fuck, those two, big time from the East Coast. I think Benny the Butcher still very underrated. I think he's dead um, nice. Very, very underrated. And, you know, he is my favorite from Griselda. He has yet to disappoint me on, on a project. Yeah, he makes he makes some of the best albums. I think Fat I would put Fat Joe, you know, niggas hate Fat Saturday. Joe, bro. What's that? Niggas hate Fat Joe. I don't like if you listen to you know Je- uh, Jealous Ones Envy, Cart Don Cartagena, uh Jose. Jose is fucking phenomenal, you know. He had the commercial joints on there, but he had the gangster shit on there too. Uh loyalty was fire. Me, myself, and I, that was really fire. I'm surprised. And then the Dark album. A lot of people hate, didn't even listen to the Dark album. Dark Side with the... Or Dark Side. Dark Side, yeah, Yeah. my bad. Yeah. That's all good. I was just trying to remember what you were talking about. Dark Side was... I thought that was... I'm not even a big Pusher T fan, and he bodied that motherfucker, man, on that album. I love Push. Um, And then if you take it to the South, I, I think Mac is one of the most underrated rappers. Yes. Hey, yo, um, April's No Limit Month, Rick. Oh, No uh, Limit albums. A uh, whole there, month. Um, you gotta be. I, yeah, let me know what you got. And um, I know yeah. I have Army Training one of those weekends, dog. But uh, good, geez. I'll be there, man. No Limit's my shit. Yo, Vod, yeah. you ready for this? This album's a long story. Uh, no, yeah. <laughs> a lot of homework. <laughs> They're like 20-something. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've been listening to No Limit lately. That that nigga Holloway from Ghetto Commission is a oh, problem. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Prime Suspects album. I'm, I'm just fine. looking at the shit over here. All the true albums. And yeah. I love I know people hate it on the crime family. I love the crime family. 99, right? Fuck yeah. And that was the only time you heard uh well, not the only time, but that rapper D.I.G. And I waited for his album to come out because Master P was already advertising that shit. And he's on that shit on, on uh, I think, Soldier Till the Day I Die. I think that's the track he's on. Yeah, P would rather put out you know, Young Soldiers, a little soda, the fuck they're called. Oh, oh yeah. yeah that's that right. garbage shit. <laughs> little Italy <laughs> and niggas like that. <laughs> From the funk yeah. mob, yeah. <laughs> you, you know what, though? I'm going to revisit one No Limit album I really did not like. And I, I'm looking at it right now on the fucking shelf. And that's full blood in Memorial Day. With dirty fingernails. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got. I, I'm gonna revisit that. Um, did you see the Silk the Shocker interview where he talked about Jay Z? Jay didn't. Jay's on that Made Man album, right? Yeah, yep. and that Silk was gonna give him hundred G's for that verse, and Jay said no. Jay Same. Jay didn't take no money from him. And. The comments are hilarious, though. People are like, Jay feels sorry because he sucks at rapping, so he just gave it to him. Niggas are so hard on my boy. I, um, and then I saw, like, fucking once Black History Month hit, bro. Somebody I know what you're like, talking about. That's hilarious. They said, uh, yeah, celebrating Rick. Black History Month, Silk the Shocker, the first rapper to consistently stay off the beat. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> 25 oh, years ago, bro. last week, I think, Child of the Game turned 25 years old, man. Yeah, shit. Hey, I love charging to the so That's my favorite Silk album. I ain't gotta be here. We gotta break that down. We gotta break. We gotta. gotta, we gotta this year, me and you, nigga. Let's, oh, let's get we it. Gotta do, dog. Just be straight with me. Before Destiny's Child was even famous, they was on that shit. Yeah. Oh man, that. I don't know. Any, um, what's it called? Um, he had a. It ain't my fault. Part one. Part one was on there. Yeah. Mystical, but it was so mafioso. One of the best soldier songs on there too. At the start, yeah, yeah. That's the uh, I would say the best soldier song. I gotta it's go the, with the one on Life or Death for me personally. That's the only one that I would say. Well, those two and the No Limit compilation album, the 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 one with the tank on the front. We can't be stopped. We can't be stopped. But the back of that album was stupid as fuck. I hated the. Do you remember that? It was all like pink, yellow, blue, green yeah. on the track. I was that was stupid. I don't know why P did. Oh that. yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was retarded. <laughs> P be my name from the ghetto to fame. We some no limit soldiers. I, love that I shit. thought I told you. <laughs> yeah. the mystical shit in the music. No limit soldiers throwing grenades. That shit hard. I don't know. Unpredictable. 
Man, <laughs> but No Limit had one of the best hip hop runs ever. Actually, they was getting it. underground albums were hitting the Billboard charts, that which was amazing. I do got to visit revisit Made Man though. I need I I haven't listened to one. The song was Snoop at the end though. Oh, Made Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that get it up. I think it's called. Yeah, it's pretty good. Was Southside on there too? I like the Ghetto mm, Commission song. Southside, we'd be the Southside niggas. I think that's on Made Man. I got Made Man from a department store called Ames back in when it came out nine nine. I um MP the Last Dawn. That's another fucking good one right there. Um, uh, my my world, my way. I'm gonna revisit that one. I know I hated it when it dropped. What album you hate, brother? I'm not really, I was reading the message. What, what 2001, right? My World, My Way. Was it 2001 or 2000? Is it him like praying or some bullshit? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My nigga bought that to school, but I never I never listened to it. So I remember when I pre ordered it, I had the poster. They gave me a poster when it dropped. And, oh, wow. you know, Silk's going like this. He had the bandana on and it was blue. It was blue. And then when the album dropped, it was black. And I'm sure they probably got pressed on by certain shit. Some, some, some fucking locs got after that. <laughs> some gang shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure they did. Um, And then see murder That's my guy. That's my favorite member. See murder just everything he did was, was fire. I got a question for y'all. How would y'all rank the, the, the Miller brothers? See murder P, and then Silk. Same. Only because Silk didn't have as many albums. Yeah. What you he got? He had The Shocker, Charge to the Game, Made Man, My World, My Way, and then Based on a True Story, which that was absolute trash. Um, <laughs> it was, I mean, I'll re, I'll try to revisit it. I remember hating in that. No, I probably won't revisit it. Because um, it was the new No Limit era when he dropped that shit. Yeah, yeah. And that was like the Game Face era. And everything oh, was Lord. Hard. Oh, I never listened to that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, but big ups to P for having the worst album cover in the history of hip hop. Big ups to P. Yeah. Who's your favorite? <laughs> Who's your favorite Miller brother? How would you rank him? Um. Up? Yeah, I mean, I pretty much agree with you guys. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Now, if I had it out of the Miller top three, all right, their albums, I would put Ghetto D. Life oh, after death, and then uh, charge it to the king. If I pick one album that's, from each, that's of them. a great way of putting it because I love Ghetto D. That's my favorite album. Yeah, I mean, even though C Murder is my favorite, Ghetto D was just like something else. It's a long, Bible but it, for the South, you know. I, when we, we all Captain Kirk's the best song on it, on it, isn't it? Isn't it right? Captain, <laughs> 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 I remember that shit. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> me and Ross like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Nah, that that album, that song. Oh my god, I love that song. Captain Kirk, it, it's a cool song, but it's definitely not the best. Song. <laughs> I I don't make shit on there. That, that uh, do the murder man. Yeah, yeah, that's my shit. And then Prime Suspects. Oh man, they did their shit. See murder. He said, "Pull up to your set and do a fucking oh, walk, walk by." by. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> that album is long, but it, there's no. For me, no fucking skips. No, trying to do something with you was my shit. Moby Dick did his thing on there. Bourbons and Lax, I was listening to the other day. I, mm-hmm. I think my nigga Vod don't like uh, weed in money, right? Is that the, another one you didn't like? Yeah, I live for bitches and blunts. Yeah. We live for weed and money. Oh, is it pass me some? some you weed don't like that song? song? There's one of them he don't like on there. I can't remember. Yeah, I need to re listen. I think yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. What? I passed me the green was fire, and I don't even smoke weed. Um, smoke weed <laughs> with her mama. <laughs> Get some dank from the Bahamas. Oh, my man. girl smoke some weed with her mama. <laughs> Shout oh, out to Sean man. Brouch giving us props. He said we put a smile on his face when we did the top 10 uh, No Limit <laughs> album cover. The, no, the uh, Pen and Pixel album covers. Pen and oh, Pixel. Yeah. yeah. Feeding for the munchies because real niggas don't blow no weed on empty stomach. You heard me? Pass me. You heard me. Fire. <laughs> Somebody put oh, dude. ghetto D is a cheat code. Hey, that's the perfect way to describe <laughs> that fucking album, bro. That shout is fire. To, shout out to my cousin Nisha. Shout out to Jason, Tennessee. They got me into that shit, bro. No limit. No. We're notorious for that shit. 
Yeah, for having long albums, but it was fire. Yeah, hell yeah. And so when you if you had 20 bucks, what you spending on this fucking album that only has nine songs or this album that has like 22 songs? I saw Ross, I'm like, yo, it had a tank on the back. I was getting that. It was off. done. Done deal. Yeah. yeah. They If they were wearing a tank chain, a chain, you, psh, I'm buying it. That's it. Done deal. Let's get them. Yeah, that was on there. Sell crack. Make crack like this. Make crack make like, like this. this. Get That's the opener. Dope. Yep. I serve fiends at once for the rest of having rocks inside my jeans, but nowadays that's murder killed Ooh, that shit. Drug dealers. Ooh, man. Uh miss my I mean, home really? with, with Pimp C. Oh, I love that fucking song. Yeah. Nigga yeah. told me C lead the dope because rapping is your thing. I ain't gonna even do- oh that shit's fire. I know, bro. I could go on forever, no that's limit. Um, uh... I think masterpiece. So Game Face was garbage. Then he did Good Side, Bad Side. I really didn't mind that one. I, I had like seven good songs. It wasn't. Wait, what's that? Then he did Ninety Nine Cent. What the fuck that shit's called, right? Before what? Game Face, I think. What's the name of that album? Ghetto Postage. Ghetto Postage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it has a Ninety Nine Cent on the cover. That maybe. Yeah, that, <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. How much I give a fuck about that shit. <laughs> that one wasn't too bad. It had like three songs that are horrendous, but it was. He, he had magic all over that album. <laughs> Uh, because Magic was the only one, Magic and Silk the Shocker and Crazy were the only ones with them. Mac had already been locked up, C Murder was already locked sky's up. Sky's the Limit is fire, bro. I don't go fuck. Oh, yeah, and I love that album cover too. I love yes. that because he didn't have the tank, he had the true chain because yeah. he was signed to true records before No Limit. Ghetto Godzilla, when, when drama came, that song on oh, there. Oh, when the drama came, oh, Fink killed that, shit. yeah. <laughs> I like Godzilla. He's like, here, lizard, lizard, and then boom, it drops. Oh, man, that shit killed my speakers back then. What did Fiend say? He was like, uh, Mr. Womp, Womp, grenades and pistols out the trunk, trunk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, nigga. Mr. Womp, Womp. Yeah, he killed that shit. <laughs> uh, Fiend, too, though. Um, what's your favorite Fiend album? Which one? Of, out it's of the one two? of every family, my nigga. It's that one? Every go that one? Yes. Street Life uh-huh. Hard, though. Shout out to Vod for hooking me Street up. Street Life was hard, man. Street Life was hard. And then Magic, which you you prefer Sky's the Limit over Thuggin? Last time I heard Thuggin, I was in fucking high school. I got to listen to Thuggin again. What what I, I didn't like about Thuggin is some of the joints on there were on the 504 Boys album. Yeah, Wobble Wobble, right? Wobble Wobble was on there, mm-hmm. yeah. And then same with Max, World War Three. A couple of those, few of those songs were on the Five or Four Boys album too. Shout out to Rick for that. Fuck me, man. That's oh, some real Max? nigga shit. <laughs> yes, that's yeah. some real nigga shit. That shit's a masterpiece, man. That, that's it's, a top five like, no limit album. That's like if we was in a coke game and you you hit me off with a free bird. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's what that was. That's how much that shit is. <laughs> <laughs> World War Three. His new album was cool. I, I give it up. I mean, he's he's like forty some years old now. His new album's dope. Unk was like, that's why I got that saying from because Unk said this back. And he's like, that's the down soft Nas. I said yes. I'm not even mad about that. That's a what? You said his uh, Mac is the down soft Nas. Yeah. And I yeah. said yeah. He's dead nice on the mic. Yeah. Mac was. He would have been bigger. Had Mac and C Murder never got locked up, No Limit would have had that game face would have never came out. Uh, <laughs> that garbage shit would have never came out. Do you know C Murder told P that we, he's like, nigga, we're getting soft. He told him that when he came up with the yeah. dolls and shit. Yeah. 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 WCW, you know that dumb shit? He, he told him that. Oh, God. You yeah. know, um, <laughs> only God can judge me. I love that one. I know people hated that album. I, got, I don't like it, Rick. I got to revisit it. But uh, I do like that shit with Nas and P and Mac. Yeah, oh, my soldiers is all I had. That's a fire. I love that album. I don't think there's one bad song on that album. Oh, damn. I have it on vinyl, I have it on the two different CDs. I have the Q pack and then the European the case? version. The, the jewel case, yeah. Yeah, how do you rank The Last Dawn? I want you, you like that album a lot, like that. I love The Last Dawn. I know yeah. it was far different than Ghetto Dope, yeah. 
But like thinking about you, people hate it. I love that shit. I like it's P and Bone, nigga. I love this track with E40. Yeah, um, get your marbles, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, get your paper, man. That's your fire. I love the opening track, man. The opening track, he's like, we retaliated. Boom, boom. Now we're killers. Like, War wounds. That shit dumb. War wounds. You know, yeah, he he bit Tupac. You know, he did the whole letter to the president, but that was still dope shit too. Um, I know. I told my boy, I'm like, yo, P and P and C murder were biting the fuck out of Pac, but guess what? It was fire, so I can't really hate. <laughs> <laughs> but I love how C murder kept it real. You know, when he did um uh right on my enemies, he's like Tupac, my tribute, this and that. Like he kept it real. He wasn't. He knew everybody was gonna know that was a biting Tupac shit. Um, but the last dawn, like the only bad thing about the last dawn is C Murder is only on one song. Yeah. And that's on the eternity, and that shit was fired too. The intro to that song is fire. Who cut the lights? I cut the fucking lights. <laughs> that shit was gangster. Shit Make them say on um, part two was dope. Um it was cool. It's not as good as the original, but having Snoop Dogg on there, that shit was cool. I like Bossolini D. That's my shit. Bossolini. I murder love Bossolini. Yeah, Murder and Daz is so fire. That would have been a dope album if they did an album together. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, Could yeah. you imagine, you know, Daz, 1999 Daz with C Murder? Oh, my God. I was watching the Fiend interview with Unk, and, and the Fiend was like, man, Tank Dogs is done. He's like, Snoop got mm-hmm. that shit on his ADAT tape. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> that, that shit is as a sin not to release that. That's why Snoop's going to hell. God's gonna be like, oh, you didn't let him listen to this shit, bro. <laughs> Max <laughs> T murder. Max he murder. Uh um, Snoop. Snoop. Some other nigga. Fiend, yeah. Fiend, man, that shit was fire. Imagine. 98 as well. Yeah. The album cover was fire too. It was. And and um like the last dawn, I thought the album cover was was gangster as fuck, especially if you had the one, the hologram one. Hell yeah. Or the 3D one. The 3D one was a shit. Now I'm in a no limit mood, right? I know. You got me. <laughs> I mean, wanting to play some no limit shit that's coming next few days, man. I'm looking at all, like, that, that's why I'm looking this way. All my no yeah. limit albums are right over here. I got the Mean Green. I got Down South Hustlers right there. Um, some Mystical, all the true albums. Moby Dick's album, that shit was gangster. I love. I Moby. love that album. Sons of Funk, people hate on that. That was. A I gotta hear album. that. I never heard that album. No, so it was a dope R and B album. Um, but when they came out, you you wasn't gonna compete with Drew Hill and, and Boyz II Men and and everything else that was out there. You was not gonna compete with them. I see the Foolish soundtrack. That Foolish movie was fucking. Kind of funny because of Eddie Griffin. Just because of Eddie Griffin. Yeah, that's like, what movie was weird. <laughs> I have a, a No Limit Greatest Hits album that I remember I bought at Blockbuster <laughs> when I was renting movies. Blockbuster put that shit out. That was crazy, bro. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that shit was crazy. I'm over there and they didn't have CDs, but they had a No Limit Greatest Hits album. And yeah, it was the only album Blockbuster put out. So you know P got paid good for that, man. Sonia C, I got her album right there. His ex-wife. <laughs> she came yeah. out like early on, right? Like now. Yeah, before. they were still the in the Bay Area when she came out. But the album title Married to the Mob was gangster. That was some gangster. Yeah, that shit. is fire, yeah. I think that's the same girl that's riding him on uh, the ghetto trying to kill me. Yeah, that's his wife. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or his ex-wife. Good album cover. You know, I <laughs> I love how um fuck man, most of these artists don't have no real no dirt to say about P like Snoop, even Mac. Mac had nothing but the utmost shit to say yeah, about Yeah, Fiend as well. An interview I was talking about Fiend's yeah. like always took care of me. That's what he said. You know, the P did right by everybody, man. Is Romeo's crying, C murder crying, you know, dog, you locked up, man. There's only so much he could do for your ass, man. What you want? No, I'm sure P had no problem paying lawyers, but 
see murder be running his mouth too much. All right, fellas, I hate to end this, but yeah, uh, no, I, I, to get ready to yeah go. I got another, I got another show to go on, so I gotta go on my oh, own. Oh shit, show. for show, sure. do your yeah, thing. Bro. We're gonna be, uh, you know, I might be hurting some feelings tonight. It's the show's called That Shit Trash, That Shit Fire. They play yeah. rappers, like rappers send their songs in, and we judge them. So, yeah. uh, yeah, y'all niggas might get mad, but hey, fuck it. Damn, making enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Do your thing, big homie. Um, hey, yo, Rick, we need, we need to keep in touch, bro. We need to keep in touch, Rick. Yeah, yeah, we're going to do something real soon, dog. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll get with you in the chat, man. Yeah. The text message, bro. I was just going through a lot of shit. No, I understandable, my nigga. So am I, bro. Yeah. Yeah, but I got y'all, though, for real. I'm back. Man. All right, y'all. All right, chat. We'll see y'all next week. We go to the Bronx, right. man. Peace. Have Peace, a good one.